right, so we've almost come to our final drawing here. Um, I'm just finishing off some of the detail in the shading and blending um, on the pores. And I'll go a little bit soft, but a little bit more grainy in these areas. Um, especially because we want them to look different to the other areas in the drawing. Oops, like that. And the same will go on this side here. Put that there like that. And always try and keep some of the space white because even if it ends up a little bit gray because of the the colors that we're using and smudging on this drawing, um, it helps to give it warmth. It's part of what makes the drawing come to life anyway. So we don't want a drawing that's very cold. And the artist has obviously um, worked on it and you know, touched the paper, touched the pencil um, and, and allowed that to happen. It's still in a controlled manner and it's still part of what makes that art what it is. So as you can see, I've left some gaps in there. Give it a bit of a smudge. Okay, we're all good. Now this area here, um, we wanted to leave a little bit of white there. So I haven't shaded all of that in, but I've got to bring that over to this area here, um, just very, very lightly, not too dark. And there's already a bit of smudge there, so I don't need to do too much there, but I am going to add just a tiny, tiny little bit into there. And then again, just bring those lines through slightly like that, um, just very delicately so that we've got um, this area here as well, blending that a little bit through, giving us the feeling that we can see that fur. And it gives a balance of light and shade as well, which is really lovely. Um, if we don't get that light and shade, it kind of, the picture looks very flat. So we want it to not look flat and we can get that effect by mixing it up. So again, smoothening that out a little bit is nice. Okay, now, there we go. There we have it. We have our Lion King. Now, before I finish and in this video, I'm going to just run through the picture and I'm going to give it another check over to make sure I haven't left anything out, um, which happens when there's a, a drawing with so much detail and just let me fine tune it. So you can watch me do this as I just run through and add the final touches to this. Okay, so we are up to adding the whiskers, my favorite part. So from here, make sure that you're on the flat edge and let's take it from there. So we're gonna go one, there, we've got our two, a little bit further back, we've got three, and then the last one around about there, we've got four, move your hand in the right position to be able to flicker those parts and then um, just a little bit of lining there. And then on this side, same thing. Um, I've just noticed something. I haven't finished to color this area here in, and that is a really important area. So what I'm going to do is 
find a more greeny pencil for starters. Right. Okay, so now, as I said, if I wasn't rushing this, I would definitely take my time, choose the right pencils and um, really help myself to get it perfect. Um, and we all know that art is not perfect anyway. But if I'm having to um, do these videos to show people how I would do it, and it's the first time I've drawn a picture of this type, then I'm experimenting as I go and I'm just taking you through how I would do it. Um, so that's the important thing. But anyway, so we've got that. So back to the eye. I'm just gonna make sure that that's exactly how it needs to be. And we've got that twinkle in the eye that was meant to be right there. So just give that a little less um, fill in it. Sorry, there we go. Uh, the teeth need to be a little bit more white, so I'm just going to clean that up as well. There, we've got all that colour in there, so that's okay. And sometimes by using different pencils as well, um, it just gives that feeling that we have ended up with um, multiple colours going on, even though we're only using a grey lid. So. That's important too. So I'm just going to smudge that through and it'll be enough to fill it. So if I had more time, I'd go through and I would take, you know, one of the lightest pencils and I would basically just be shading it in. That one definitely didn't do the job. Okay, I'd shade it in very carefully and slowly and I'd be getting the grain to be absolutely um, the way it is in the original drawing. So... There we go, just like that. Again. And you don't need to shade the whole thing, just choose where you want to add a little bit extra to it. So as you can see, we now um, pretty much have done the whole drawing. I'm just checking over. Yep, I think that is pretty much all done. So the only thing left for me to do is to sign it. And I haven't got really much space to sign it unless I sign up in the sky, um, which I can do. But for the moment, I'm just a little bit undecided as to where I would sign this. So let's just do it up here. So I'm going to go with There you go.